Hey you all, welcome to my channel and today I'm taking you to Georgia. This place is beautiful and it doesn't require a Shanghai visa but it does give you a proper European vibes. So if you are planning to travel somewhere, this is the place you should try. So on the first day we went to Old Ketiki Vineyard. This place is beautiful and they tell you the entire process of uh, making a wine which we just felt like it was okay -ish. we really did not enjoy that process but yes there are some places where you can just take photo and that is what i was doing here then we were headed to old Tbilisi town which is beautiful and a tourist spot So this is a town i think very few people stay here maybe because it was full of tourists and you it was really difficult to just climb this top and this is the view we see from top so for me it was not extremely worth it but um, okay that's a tourist spot and we have to go they believe from here they also see russia border so just went here this place was beautiful let me tell you i don't know is someone this is someone's house in front of which i was just trying to take my photo video and no one came out so i'm assuming it was empty but it was good so yes you just walk around and have the old architecture explore and then we were heading back to our hotels day two and we are heading to narikala fort now the view from this fort is amazing so you can see the entire Tbilisi town from here and it is beautifully amazing. You can trek to this fort or you can use the cable car to and from. So while going we used a cable car but while coming back we did trek. And traveling towards the waterfall area we found these bridge where people actually did write their name and you know lock which is very much common in europe so we could see it here Aap apna tala khud lekar aana because they really charge you like a huge amount for these small logs to just stay and then that's me just trying to take some photos videos here and i've i should have removed it but okay now we are heading towards godari day three and godari is a beautiful hill station agar aap wahan pe december january mein ja rahe ho you'll for sure see some snow over there but i went in june july the climate was still beautiful and it was raining it was heaven on earth i'm telling you it was really beautiful so if you're in time planning to travel to tbilisi you have to go to godari This is a monument in Godari, which represents Russians and Georgians' friendship. 
so they just have a small storytelling um on the walls over here and the view from here was next level you'll actually see it in these videos you can see the view is so beautiful and even the climate was really really nice it was chill it was slightly raining this chair was on the cliff of the mountain and here we are taking our photo video together this is a restaurant it is it did not have much food but okay this is the lobby for Godari Hotel. I can't show you the room. It was really small and dirty because we were just going to check out. But this is the balcony view and just try taking some more videos for my Insta. And then we had this really beautiful view from our hotel. So not from our, we had from our room as well, but uh, there was a specific place for this one. And this is us heading back to Tbilisi because we had a flight in, at night and it was raining. Have a look, this was something good. The travel journey from Tbilisi to Gudari and Gudari to Tbilisi was really good. If you're traveling to Gudari, make sure you get something to eat because Gudari, not very easily you will find vegetarian food. After coming back to the PC, now we were heading to Clock Tower, which is the oldest in Georgia, and it was good. You should try it. And these markets are beautiful. You should explore these markets in the evening time. So we were just heading to the route of Clock Tower, and all this was on the way. Over here, you get a lot of stuff handmade, so you can either go with that or you can just buy. These markets are beautiful in the evening because it's completely crowded. People are sitting, you can sit, eat food, chill, relax. And in Georgia, what I found very common was fruit trees on the street. Yes, you saw that um, pomegranate tree. And ahead, you will also see more fruit trees. Yeah, I don't know which this was, but it was something. And we have reached to clock tower. So it takes really slow for you guys. I've just fast forwarded the tape. But... This literally took like four to five minutes to come out and then ring the bell at eight o'clock. And then at the bottom you see it's rolling. Or here I had deja vu. Like I already saw this in my previous life maybe. <laughs> but it was good. After clock tower we were heading back to the main uh, city. And this place is underground. Or here you just, you know, throw a coin and wish for something. Here we rupees bhi padhe hue dekhe te. Yes, the rupee coin. <laughs> so, of course, a lot of Indians are traveling and we've done that. And this entire market was underground. So, you can just explore. And yes, pretty much all. After this, we are going to head back to our, back to airport. And this was our way back home. I didn't want to come back because the place was beautiful. The day is really long. You can see at 8.39 we are heading back to airport. And this doesn't look like 8.39 at all. But yes. So the days are longer in Georgia. And you don't want to go back home but it's Dubai so you're really happy going back home let's go 
I was running so bad to come back to Dubai. It was good.